Hi, in this video, I am going to be talking about something quite important. Quite often, I find my students who go abroad, go with a lot of excitement. And then they go to the college, the program starts. And in a month or two, there is a degree of disappointment that I have seen creep in. I am going to be talking about the reason why this disappointment comes in and then I am also going to show why that disappointment is not on account of something wrong with the college, it's possibly because something is wrong with you, the student. The fact of the matter is, irrespective of which of whichever college you have actually graduated out, there's a very good chance your college life was not very different from the life that you had when you were in the school. In college, Indian college, you went early in the morning, there was a time, you then sat in your place, hour after hour, a professor walks in, teaches and then walks out and then the next professor walks in. You have a lunch break and then you are back into the classroom, then evening you go home and then have fun. I have a question. How was therefore your college life different from what your school life was? So in our mind, even when we finish our graduation, our picture of a college life is this. Now when you go to US or for that matter when you go to Europe etc for your masters, you suddenly realize the fact that the rigor is very limited. You realize the fact that the number of hours you probably are sitting in a classroom is very very limited. For example, in a leading institution like Arizona State University, for a program in MS, you probably have a 9 hour interaction per week. Suddenly you realize that look, the syllabus is less, I can actually complete it in a short duration. I am not finding it challenging enough. Both, of course, you know, something that gives you comfort to your heart, but at the same time probably disappoints you because you expected greater rigor. Now, if you do come in that category, my point is very simple. This is not the problem with the pedagogy or the college. The problem is with you. You need to understand the academic model that is used in developed countries, especially for masters, is extremely different. The number of contact hours within the classroom is given to be less simply because you are expected to do something more on your own and the key phrase is on your own. You are expected to probably go to the library offline or online, explore more, take up some assignments, projects, internship to dwell deeper. So you will find two set of students, students who say it was a cake walk, I could complete it very easily. And another set of students who will say it was very rigorous. Now fact of the matter is if you speak to a person who said that it's not very rigorous, you will realize the fact that the person would have passed the masters but not got a very high score. The fact of the matter is the curriculum is so structured that you can actually complete the curriculum, get the degree. But to if you really want to appreciate, benefit, and monetize it by getting a higher GPA, then the rigor has to be intense. For me, and that is a recommendation I keep telling my kids, when you go to US, then the two years that you're spending in the college should be a time for you to discover yourself as a professional as well as a human being. Now, what does it mean? When I say you need to discover yourself as a professional, it means don't just spend time learning what has been taught in the class. Dig deeper. Network with the professionals in the industry. Do projects which will help you learn the practical side of what you are learning. Now all that will help you become a better professional. The market demand for you in the industry will increase. But along with that, see to it that you are using this time to build habits. You will find there are fantastic clubs. Clubs which probably are adventure oriented. Take it up. You will find clubs which are very serious on social contribution. If that is where you sway, embrace it. 
And the beauty is you have time to do both if you wish to. Socialize with people who are from a different country. I normally am against my students adopting a college which has too many Indians. The fact of the matter is if we don't explore, if we do not come out of the comfort zone, if we don't network with people who are natives, then how do we make ourselves a better person? I know many students who are there in US, completed their masters, or have been working, they don't yet feel that as their home. I'm not saying you should not have connects with your roots in India. What I am however saying is, if you are spending your time in the US, make that also your home. And for that, the two years you spend in masters should be a time for you to discover yourself both as a professional as well as a human being, a person with multiple interest. And that is something that you need to consciously try to do. And I really hope you do.